Well, but I, I hope you learn from this. I really do. Especially the young people. The young people, as they live in a world full of skepticism that, that want to destroy and twist and deny the Word of God. They want to make you believe that there's some wisdom in men over the wisdom of God. And so they will look at things and they will analyze things and they say, well, you know, archaeologists say that the world is this old and the scientists say that it's this age and they say that this happened and, and there was no global flood and there was no... Oh, they will go on and on. And yet time and time again, it has been proven over and over again that Scripture has it right. Over and over again. This is just one example right here in verse 2 of Luke chapter 2. A verse that was debated, that was distorted, that was used in order to deny the legitimate understanding that the Word of God is inspired. And then man finds himself with egg on his face when he digs that pit that he digged for others, he falls into himself. Let me underline, so-called contradictions in the Bible are always, always a result of human ignorance. Every single time. And this is just one example. When you hear young people begin, or even older ones, sometimes is the case, they start to say, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm wondering you know that they've been drinking from the wrong wells. I have conversations with people sometime, sometimes, they begin to say things. And you know what I'm aware of immediately? You've been more time on Google and all the garbage of the Internet than you have been in the Word of God. And so you are what you eat. <laughs> you drink from the well of garbage. Bible-denying, God-hating, Christ-despising individuals, you will become like them. You will think like them. Keep yourself in the Word of God. Daily meditate in His Word, and you will have no doubts. 